Let's talk about cerebral palsy and swimming. This, as you can see, is an arena swim fin. Now, a lot of the reason people tell people with cerebral palsy to swim is because it helps with mobility. The major driver that I found as to why people struggle to walk with cerebral palsy is not because their hamstring is tight. A lot of physical therapists will point to that and try to stretch that and gain mobility that way. I found that the major immobility comes from your ankles. If you have bad ankles, then you probably won't be able to walk because your foundation will be totally off. Now, these swim fins will give you the ankle mobility that you've been searching for. Now, the caution element that I'd like to discuss here is that these swim fins work excellently. They will give you ankle mobility. They will also cause tremendous pain if you're not ready to use them. If you lack the athletic ability to endure the muscle activity that these swim fins will engage or cause you to have, then you're going to have some serious problems. You're going to be experiencing severe pain and it may cause some severe damage to your ankle ligaments or your ankle muscles in general. So I would really only advise using swim fins like this if you really felt up to the challenge. However, if you do find yourself up to that challenge, then I will say that using these swim fins was the bridge between me being able to only do leg raises and me being able to use a walking stick, which then led to me being able to walk on grass without a walking stick and being able to kick a soccer ball, actually using cleats, which is a whole nother athletic element that is probably way down the road for most people. But it all starts with the swim fin. If you can swim with a swim fin, even for five minutes, that's an excellent start. The a level of ankle activation you can get with a swim fin as opposed to just regular swimming without one is night and day. Swimming without a swim fin is great for general mobility, but to swim with a swim fin, especially one like this, because this is, this is quite heavy. This again is an arena swim fin the energy required, the work required, the ability required to swim with one of these is quite high. But if you can do so, the reward is there for you. I really feel that it was a game changer for me because I know for me, I'm dealing with something called lever arm disorder. Now this is basically where your leg, your leg and your foot twist due to spastic muscles and basically not having neuromuscular control over your feet. And this was the first thing I found that had any chance at tackling that problem. So I just wanted to make people aware, I'm sure people were already aware, 
But I do know from my experience that physical therapists, for whatever reason, don't focus on things like this. They focus only on hamstring stretches, which I propose is not the major element causing people problems when it comes to dealing with their cerebral palsy. I believe that most of the problems generated by cerebral palsy are caused by a lack of neuromuscular control of the feet. Once you can get neuromuscular control of the feet, a lot of doors open up for you. And this is one of the ways that you can open that door for yourself.